chief guest is Tim Juri, their colleagues from Digital Rocks of Life and Loving Schoolmates. Assalamu alaikum. Special respect to the piece of land where we all are standing and breathing in open air. I was alone, 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 but people came and made karma. And I, Ashraya, from GMS Mujgun, Standard 8, I'm really hopeful that you all will join this cavalcade with me. I'm privileged to be over here to present my views on the theme, Basic Science for Sustainable Development, Prospects and Challenges. At the outset, let's ask ourselves a question. Why this hue and cry everywhere? Who is responsible? Who is impacted? Are we acting as per our whims and fancies? Or are we using calculated, judicious and sustainable our environment and our only planet, Dharthima? Are we going against the nature? Have we raised a war with the nature? Ask yourselves. I guess, yes. Sustainable development is a pace where we hear through around from time to time in order to underline our ideal vision of the future, rid of all the problems that the inhabitants of the earth tackle today. Our earth shouts. मैं धरती हूँ मुझे जीने दो मुझे मेरे हाल में जीने दो मेरा नाम जमीन अमीन हूँ मैं सब नस्लों की सब फसलों की मेरी ममता जागती रहती है मेरी कोक में सदियाँ पलती है मेरे दुश्मन मेरे बच्चे हैं जो बांझ गिरी के माहिर हैं कब मेरे राज को समझोगे कोई पूछे सागर वसाहिल से मेरे ये सोना चांदी चूना लोहा हस्ती खाक भी तुम में है तुम मुझसे हो फिर मुझसे हो इस रिश्ते की तहजीम करो मैं धरती हूँ मुझे जीने दो मुझे मेरे हाल में जीने दो Creator has provided all the resources to human beings, animals, and to all living beings. His question is that: Are these unlimited? Are we the last imperishable generations of this planet? Are we only the sole owners and plunderers of this planet? My dear friends, remember: the future generations are waiting for your gift, as you have inherited it from your grandparents, and that is what sustainable development is. The area of our Earth is 510.1 million kilometers square, and the world population is 775.2 crores. And still, it is increasing by rapid rate. Our India will surpass China in 2030. Here, million-dollar question is: Is the area of our Earth expanding? No, not at all. So, how you dare to extract all from your Earth for for the pity use, compromising the future of your nation? Not only this, we have added more to the miseries of humankind by degrading the environment. We cannot breathe clean air. We cannot drink potable water. Why? Just, just think for a while. Are we on the way to make it uninhabitable for humans? Here the cycle started. As narrated in Hadith, Abu Sayyid Ali Khudi Raja Taala Hona had reported that our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that in the dunya hulwatun khaziratun wa inna Allah mustaklifukum fiha fayazrat amalun. The world is sweet and green, and verily Allah is going to install you as wise jinns in it, in order to see how you are. In the introductory para, I pose some questions, right? So the devil lies here. The difference between humans and animals is that animals change themselves for the environment, but humans change the environment for themselves. Consider the everyday example of plastic bags that we recklessly use and throw. This is among the many environmental hazards created by people like us. The fuel consumption and carbon dioxide emissions estimated will roughly double between 2000 and 2050. You all would be surprised to know that as per the data submitted in Parliament by the Water Resource Ministry recently, groundwater in pockets across 158 out of 639 districts has become saline. In pockets across 127 districts, groundwater contains excess fluoride in them. Now, having said the why and what of the issue, there are always solutions with human beings. Like the UN's New York Summit held in 2015 led to the adoption of 17 Sustainable Development Goals or the SDGs, with the promise to make the world a fairer, better, and safer place by 2030. The seven SDGs that we have are as follows: like no poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education, etc., etc. We can use methods such as hydroponics, growing plants in water, and aeroponics, growing plants in air. Innovative ideas like oh no, sorry. Thermal pollution can be reduced by a technology called as SCR, selective catalytic reduction, and then we can also use cooling ponds and cooling uh, artificial lakes. Cooling ponds and cooling towers. Next slide. Innovative ideas like the plastic atms can be introduced, in which you put a plastic bottle and in return it gives you a rupee. Space exploration like the Mars mission, robotics, blockchain technology are some scientific developments which can help in sustainable development. Let me quote an interesting fact over here that humans are the only creatures in this world who cut down the trees, make paper from it, and then write "Save Earth" on it. Is me to raiye bhi ki darakhato ki be darai katai apne khud gaz makasir ke liye aur ham umid rakhte hain saaf aur shifa saasu ki hai she this natural man. The tree runs inside you. Ham me darakh doorte hain. 
Delhi. Delhi figures in top 10 most polluted cities of the world. Can use smoke free towers or giant, giant sprinklers or smoke free towers to drop the pollution level. E-waste, electronic waste, being non-biodegradable, be transformed into biodegradable and renewable material. For example, microchips. Though electronic can be replaced by wood-based microchips. Plastic eating caterpillars, for example, Galeria melonella, wax worms. Grim side of the picture is that we invent and research and life-saving drugs and vaccines to save humanity from harm caused by corona. Next slide. On the other hand, we used atom bombs, that is scientific invention, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki of Japan, where still we find abnormal children. As you can see, same strategy has been adopted in Ukraine, Syria, etc. Is this sustainable development? No way! We could have used the scientific knowledge to improve the food production, e-education for, unnecess for unnecessary children, e-health, etc. From today, what me and you can contribute to stop the disaster humanity is facing, just just small actions from your and my part can result in the feeding of millions of hungry people all over the world. Recently, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has pointed to a breakthrough called as Magic Seeds, crops engineered to resist to pests and adapt to climate change. Irresponsible approach towards wildlife has resulted in the extinction of, like over here, the Bukhara Deer. But the sorry plight is that we take pictures of the issues, upload it on social media, just for likes. Is it conservation? Healthy, educated, living in clean environment, having some, having enough water and food to feed hungry stomach, and also leaving something, then nothing, to guests, that is our future generations, should be the aim and cherished goal of governments, organizations, people all over the world, and our scientific knowledge and temper can be the wonders to make this planet sustainable. मेरे अशक पुकारते हैं मेरे अशक पुकारते हैं बोल उठो बोल उठो मुझे बचाओ मुझे बचाओ I would like to sum up with the famous couplet of Kashmiri poet Ghulam Ahmad Mehjoor शक्ल छुस इंसान मगर इंसानियत निश्चय खबर शक्ल छुस इंसान मगर इंसानियत निश्चय खबर क्या वतम मत इम्तिहान यम शक्ल मत मंद छावतम इस उम्मीद के साथ कि शायद उतर जाए तेरे दिल में मेरी बात अल्लाह